to so many men say the same thing about wanting a Proverbs 31 woman. But I have to ask you, are you a entire Bible man? We have to talk about this because this is where I think I see a lot of men manipulating scripture. And they want to talk about, you know, there's a famous uh, verse in Proverbs, the Proverbs 31, where it's basically talking about what a good wife is. And a lot of people want to say, you know, I want a Proverbs 31 wife. I want a Proverbs 31 wife wife uh but i have to ask you because what i find very funny about men in this society now is that the entire bible contradicts the way that you live your life so if you're going to ask a woman to be a certain type of way you probably need to be the way that she wanted biblically and bil biblically biblically bi biblically i can't even say that word right and the thing is is a lot of men aren't and i think that's honestly how this really has gone this way and how we see a lot of what is developing around you know america especially where men have slowly started fading away and now it's like like i said hard work seems to be a, a hard commodity to find in most men and that's what's so crazy to me is because that's the way and honestly i didn't know this growing up either but that's the way that we're built we actually feel better when we work hard at something, when we enjoy the, the fruits of our labor, something that you've worked hard for, you have succeeded at. That's why people love sports so much, because you work so hard at something to achieve the trophy, and that's the fruit of your labor. Or even just, you know, you work so hard, especially like some of these kids were, were coming close to the draft in the NFL, where some of these kids have worked their whole entire life, and now they're they're reaping the, the fruits of their labor, of what they've dedicated their entire lives for. And like I said, I, I think, you know, I, I watch a couple of sermons and some of the pastors are, are saying, you know, that women should submit to men. And I agree, depending on what type of man you are. And I think we have a lot of men that want the submission part, but they don't, they're, they're 120 pounds soaking wet dweebs that can't protect anybody and you know it's that's not the person that she was supposed to submit to she was supposed to submit to a man so if you're not a man she's not supposed to submit to you and this is what as men in our society we have to really develop this and really understand what it is you know it's honestly it is it is awesome being a man because you have to receive god and pastor your home in the way that god sees fit and you have to be the guy that he relegates to in order to achieve that and god this is why he loved david is god wants a strong type of man he wants a strong man that will stay by the word of god continually he wants a paul he wants a peter he wants men like this i don't know if you've no noticed this but everybody that was in the bible that was sort of favorited you know i i would really use that loosely we're all strong warrior faithful men david peter was another one warrior type of person paul another one a warrior type of person they were all faithful to god but they were strong warrior type of men that went into battlefields and just use the word of God to create their shield and their armor. And this is the type of man that we were supposed to be. This is why God created us like this. God created us to be men. And like I said, I see a lot of wimpy, baby, whiny men crying all the time about having to even go to work. This is the whole point of us, bro, is like... You want a type of woman that's going to be a certain type of woman. But what I tend to notice is that women has to have to do more of the manly things than the man does. I see that everywhere. I see it a lot of the time where the woman is pulling the weight of the man. And I find that so ridiculous. That uh, This is why I've started this YouTube channel. Because God has specifically guided me towards not being a loser anymore. And... The whole thing of that is if you're faithful to God, he will just show you the way on how to not be a loser anymore. And the thing is, is that most men, especially even Christians, because what's even worst about the Christian, you know, philosophy is that you just put everything on God. You don't have to take any action towards anything. And 
you know, you just pray and God's just supposed to hand you a million dollars. God's supposed to hand you your, your dream job. God's supposed to hand you all. If you're liking this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. And if you want some exclusive content, check out the website, www.qbalifestyle.com. Give you Bible breakdown, exclusive videos you can't find on the YouTube. I'll see you guys there. Now back to the video. All of this. And then those same people are like, I think God is like, forsaken me when they sit there flipping channels every single day and it's just wrong it's the problem with it is that you know we we, we have men now that want to parade around like they're men but when you talk to them they act like little kids they're not really men yet and this is where we have to make that change you have to understand that yes it's very hard to supply for a family Yes, it's very hard to do a lot of the things. Yes, it's very hard to work most days. It's very hard to do a lot of that stuff. But that's the point. You take that role as a man because that's what a man does. So then your woman can nurture and be womanly, be very womanlike. You allow her to do that when you take on the load of working hard, providing, being the protector. You take that load on when you're a man. That is why God put us in charge of the family. That's why God puts the male headship in the family. But it is surrounded around you actually being a man. And this is a huge problem is because we have these men that want male headship. But then they're beating their stuff off all the time. They, they can't even keep a job. And it's like playing video games every single day. There's no male headship if you're not acting like a man. <laughs> it's obsolete. You have to understand that. If you're not acting like a man, there's no male headship. She has no one to submit to because you're not a man yet. And I had to understand this fact very, very strongly. You know, most of my life, <clears throat> I was going for women a lot of the time. And at this point in my life, God has guided me to realize that I need to start something that I will be able to have an income that is very much so able to provide for the woman that I decide to make my wife. But this is the most important thing is that you take these steps towards doing that or the woman is going to feel like she's supplying for a child because you have to understand if the woman is supposed to, if we really, really break this down, the woman is supposed to submit to you. So that is more so than a man because a man's supposed to submit to God but a woman is supposed to submit to God and to the man which she will do but you have to understand if you're going to ask her to do that you need to be a man first you need to do the extra thing that she can't do the reason she's submitting to you is because you do the extra thing that she's not supposed to do so you work harder, you work more hours, you protect and provide. Those are the things that the men bring to the table so that the woman can be a woman. She can submit, she can nurture, she can develop. It's not two different things, but you bring to the table what you bring and she does what she brings. But again, like I see, a lot of the, the you know, of course there are, are negative people to both sides. I understand that. But... The keys to being a man are controlling your lust, pr pr uh, providing for your family, and protection. Those are the three keys to being a man. And most men don't have any of those. M maybe some of the time one, sometimes two. This is all three we were, we were supposed to have. We were supposed to be all three, and that is the man that a woman is supposed to submit to. And yes, it's going to be hard, and there might be people in the comments that will say, you know, it's impossible in this day and age. Yes, and I'm speaking to you <laughs> strictly out of love, and then we'll get into scripture. It's because you're a loser, and you want to stay a loser. So if you are one of those people that wants to say these things are impossible, well, do not expect a woman to submit to you because you're not the man that she was supposed to submit to. And we'll get into the first scripture. And this was going to be for all you lazy bums out there. <laughs> Blessed is the one, is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. When you eat the labor of your hands, you shall be happy and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be a fruitful or be like a fruitful vine in the very heart of your house your children like olive plants all around your table behold thus shall the man be blessed who fears 
the Lord. The Lord bless you out of Zion. You may see the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life. You may see your children's children. We have to underline, and this is Psalm 128. When you eat the labor of your hands, who walks in his ways? He says, who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways, who eats the labors of his hands. So when you really put that all together, you have to understand that when you fear the Lord as a man, you work. You work in order to eat the fruit of your labor. And then what it says there is that man who then works because he fears the Lord. He knows that a man is supposed to work. He then has a fruitful wife and very much so able to be taught children. That is what that verse basically breaks down. I have to ask you this. Are you the type of man that does that? You have to understand that these verses are so critical because the hard work part is the the underlying garbage that has been just completely spread around with this participation trophy day and age where men are okay just being losers and instead of finding solutions they'll find excuses on why they can't do something and it has to do you can even this is not even a verse but I, it's, i'm pretty sure it's in galatians where the fruit of the spirit is long suffering patience like these are things hard work these are the things that a man is supposed to be made of and I do this out of love to everyone watching this because I had to do the same. I had to understand that I was a loser. I was a complete loser going for the wrong women, doing the wrong things, not working hard, needing days off, never really applying myself to anything. And of course, the women that I got were all not you know, compatible, let's just say that. And you know, the life that I had wasn't really making me happy. And only when I turned to Christ and allowed God to guide me for what I needed to do, I stopped being a loser. And I started realizing the virtues that I need to have and that I want a woman that's going to be a certain way, but I'm not the way that she wants. So I can't possibly ask for that if I'm not the person that she's asking for. And in which case, when you put those two things together, then you get the same type of person that you are. If you are a person that cannot control lust, you are a person that cannot protect and provide well you're going to have your woman also working and she also has to do the manly things and on top of that you're going to get someone that can't control their lust either because you can't it's just a pure like mathematical equation that you have to break this down to and when you consider that if you become the guy that controls his lust that can protect and provide do all those things well you're going to get the woman that wants that. You're going to get the woman that wants to submit to a guy like that. You'll get the woman that you wanted. You have to understand that if you don't do those things, if you decide that you just want women to be the exact way biblically that women are supposed to be, but you're going to then, this is where it comes to the lukewarm Christians, you pick and choose what you want a man to be because you think that a man is defined by four days off video games and... <laughs> um, uh, watching TikToks all day, well, that's not the man that that girl wants. So she would pass you by every single day, twice on Sundays, because you aren't the man that she wants. So you'll never find that woman. You, you have to understand that. If you want the woman that you truly want, that, that wifely type of woman, you have to be the man that she wants, or else you guys are going to pass each other by in the street all the time, and she's just going to be looking for a dude that's not you. And you have to understand that. And it's sorry to say this, if this is, hurts your feelings, then good. You know, it's a wake up call that I, you need to start taking your life seriously and start, start enjoying that God created you as a man and that you have a special thing, a special purpose in God to be a man. And you have this special superpower of being a man that you can build and you can do these things. I take so much joy in being a man because it's, to me, it's just the, the most amazing thing, especially when you dive into actually trying to be a man, you know, controlling your lust, trying to build something so that you can eventually, and of course, having the ideology of being a good father and you can provide for this family and teach them well. You know, because again, this is where, you know, the, people haven't grown up yet. It's about teaching your kids well. 
It's about teaching your kids so that they can go the right way. And I take so much pride in trying to be that guy. And honestly, with this channel and, you know, with people around me, it's becoming a thing where you get looked at different. And you have a lot of advice to give. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm bourbon. And you start feeling like a man because you have the Holy Spirit guiding you. And it starts showing you what you need to be and what you need to do. And this was the clear fact of what I had to do. It's just, it's the, the prerequisite. And this is where, again, this is why I believe that this society has kind of fallen towards the feminism and, you know, women trying to be an independent woman. None of them want to do that. None of them really want to have that. What I truly believe is that we have so many girly men out there that they can't provide they can't do any of these things, so what have the women done? Well, now they have to provide. They have to work as many hours as you do in order to provide for the family because you don't want to get off your butt and do anything. So what ends up happening is women don't want to have to work as many hours as you. That's your job. You're the man. You're supposed to be working a bunch of hours. You're supposed to be the guy continually trying to do something. So... They want to make easy money because women don't want to work like us. They weren't supposed to. That's why OnlyFans starts. That's why you have all these different things pop up because women weren't supposed to sit here and work 40, 50 hour work weeks to supply for your bum behind because you don't want to get your crap together until you're 67. They don't want to do that. So then they go on these things and they find sugar daddies because that's the way a man was supposed to be. He was supposed to provide for her. He was supposed to build something or at least have a dream that you were building that allows the woman to know, hey, if he keeps knocking on this door, he's going to eventually get there. So I just have to support him. But the problem I see is that most men don't even have a dream that they're going for. They just literally get home from work and play video games after their girlfriend or wife or whatever gets home from work and they expect her to wash the dishes and do all these different things. That's pathetic. That is truly pathetic. And this is why I think we have gone this route. And of course, it's morally and... and, and <clears throat> it's not the best choice either. Like, I'm not justifying it, but I, I'm saying this is probably why this happens. Because men were supposed to work to provide. Women were supposed to submit and nurture. That's the way it was supposed to be. But if a woman has to work as much as you, and she has to do the same things as you, and you expect her to be also womanly, it doesn't work like that. So we have to understand this as men. We have to understand that we need to take some time to really develop ourselves in something and develop it so that maybe you don't have a million dollars, but you got something that you're going for. You got something that's going to turn you into something. And on top of that, you're controlling lust and doing all that stuff. Waiting for marriage. That's what waiting for marriage does. You have something. You found what you want to do. And you start pursuing this so that you can start trying to make that income that you've always wanted to. You start pursuing this. And stop pursuing the worldly things. And you wait for the right woman. And when you have what you need... And God thinks that you're ready, you find her, and you can be the man that she wanted so that she can be the woman that she wants to be. So if you want to be that dude that sits there wondering why he can't find a good woman when he's sitting there playing Halo till four in the morning, chugging down M&Ms and Snickers bars, <laughs> drinking himself away at bars, and taking whatever he can get because he doesn't want to get his crap together to become a man and start pursuing what he knows he needs to pursue so that he can provide and be in the lifestyle that he would like, we'll turn this video off. But if you want to be that dude that understands that maybe you need to take a year, two years, whatever it is, from everything else that's going on around, let Jesus drive the whip, and start building something that you know you've always wanted to build so that you can have something that you can provide with in the future. But it starts right now. And you want to get to work. Instead of chasing women, chasing alcohol, chasing life, chasing memories, you start building a future now and allowing Jesus to 
throw that Holy Spirit right down into you and guide you so that you can know the right way. You can glorify God and he can turn you into the man that you always wanted to be so you can find that right woman for yourself. We'll keep watching. Oh, it's getting better. It smells like hard work and determination, boys. Hit that like and subscribe if you like this video. As you can see, like I showed you, um, the website is going to be your Bible breakdown. You have lifestyle articles that will help you out. You have, what's the other thing? I forgot. Oh, the, the recommended music so that you can get away from this secular crap and you can start listening to good music. You'll have that. And then if you want some more exclusive content, we'll have extra videos and all that. But that will be the membership that you will pay for. It will be nutrition articles. And you'll have exclusive videos on there. That'll be like the membership here on YouTube. I'll have a membership here, but it'll probably be cheaper on the website. So I just want to get you over to the website. So go check it out, www.qbalifestyle.com. As always, guys, be the man that biblically you were, oh, I got that right, you were supposed to be. Don't be these whiny baby guys that want to sit here and play Call of Duty till 4 in the morning and then can't understand why they can't find a good woman. It's because you're not a man. You're still a little boy, and she don't want to supply for a little boy. She wants a man. That's what she wants. She wants a man that will lead. You can't lead while you're pretending to be Master Chief till 3 in the morning with your fat buddies. <laughs> can't do that. As always, guys, praise God, love God all the time. He's great. In Jesus' glory-filled name. Love you all. Jesus is Lord. Peace.